So recently, Avalch has been getting in a lot of trouble, and I know this was a while ago, but I'm going to talk about it now since I'm getting more into things. Basically, he was exposed for being a creepy weirdo that gets off to horse penises and lolly, which is completely disgusting and borderline pedophilic. But everybody else has covered how disgusting and how weird and how gross he was, and just how, like, it's just weird. And all of the allegations about him literally his gecko and we've everybody else has talked about it so i want to explore another side of things why all of these bread prawn like promoting tubers are completely disgusting and vile people and are only coping for their vile disgusting prawn addiction and how it's real and it has been proved to be real even by the false studies that they try to cite incorrectly mind you like ethan is online that crusty coomer and why point as a whole is bad for you because it makes you do disgusting, dirty, downright, down bad things. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, Vouch has talked about a lot of things. Now, but I would like to talk about the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole. He goes down, down point so much that he ended up on Lolly and he ended up on furry prawn. He, he, he jacks off to animals. And he's gone down the rabbit hole so much, he has acted on some of it by hurting his own gecko. Okay, so that is why it's disgusting and vile and why you should avoid prawn at all costs. But another thing is, you know, he also approaches random women with his girlfriend and asks them if they want to have sex. Muslim women. That's disgusting. What? You really think that's going to happen? No. Especially not with your crusty, crusty lips, with the, anything of you, because you are a disgusting human and vile human being. And those women don't go for people like you. And even if those women were going to have sex with random guys, they wouldn't happen with you because you're a disgusting human being. You don't take care of yourself. You don't go to the gym. And you attack everything that helps men be men. You attack everything that helps people live healthy and normal lives. You say, oh, I can eat whatever I want. Oh, I, I can jack off the pond. Like, no. No. It has led you to being a deranged little loser. And maybe if you lived a better life, then people would look at your ideas in a better light. But clearly, the ideas that you perpetuate and the person you are is not a person any of us strive to be. Because we, we don't want to be people who uh, accidentally jack off to lolly. We don't want to be people who do terrible things to animals like what you did, you disgusting freak. And we don't want to be really creepy people that try to have orgies because we're not satisfied with our own girlfriends. No, we don't want to do that. We, we really don't. Which is why you are showing that your degenerate ideas, by living your degenerate lifestyle, has only led to more degeneracy and has led to you doing terrible, disgusting things you might not have done before if you hadn't watched the things you watched. If you hadn't gone down the rabbit hole, if you hadn't destroyed your dopamine system, maybe, just maybe, you wouldn't be a disgusting freak and everybody wouldn't hate you. People on your own side that usually side with leftists wouldn't be attacking you, rightfully so, because you would not be a creepy freak. Okay? It's just disgusting. And there are other people that have done less things but still bad things like Ethan is online. I talked about how he betrayed somebody and put false allegations just to get a girl. He couldn't get a girl. He didn't have any game. He, he didn't have anything good about him. So he had to um, literally betray somebody and backstab his friend just to do get a girl and backstab. These are the people that you guys are looking up to. Anyone who watches his bread tubes. The people who attack their animals, the people who are disgusting towards women that claim that they love women so much and they support women's work are absolutely the opposite. They hate them. They, they have such vile sexual impulses that they are not controlling or trying to like get, get off in a good way where they are jacking off all the time and desensitizing their brain to terrible things and they cannot satisfy their terrible lust so now they go to do disgusting things these are the people you guys are looking up to and if you follow what somebody says you will ultimately end up being the person they're being so ask yourself this do you want to be a degenerate prawn addicting loser who does nothing but jack off creep out women and attack your pets and then backstab your friends because you have no game or anything of value to get a woman with if so then, yeah, you're a weirdo and you should be ostracized from society. If not, then stop watching them. Because these people are weird. I know you want to, like, say, oh, I want to smoke weed in this. You want them to say your lifestyle is great, but it's not. Your lifestyle isn't great, number one. And number two, even if you're going to do those things, don't follow down the rabbit hole that these people are doing. Have some self-control and take over your life. And don't. 
be like these people because these people have been exposed time and time again to be literal scumbags. They're disingenuous with every argument they make and they're basically just fueling bullcrap to the leftist machine and a lot of them have been exposed to be grifters who only went really really far left so they could get more money because they knew after Hassan blew up that there was a huge market for that. And number three, they're dis disingenuous with everything they do because they are also disingenuous with the research they read and how terrible they are and sometimes they might be good at research but then they read studies incorrectly like Ethan knows online with that prawn study which uh, when it was reevaluated by a non-biased scientist it showed that prawn addiction did exist because the other scientists and him who are biased tried to say it did not exist. These people are disingenuous in those ways, so they move disingenuous in other ways and become terrible human beings and backstab people and abuse animals and do all this disgusting crap. And I'm just done with it. I, I haven't been engaged with these people in a while, but I'll tell you this. Don't be like them. Seriously, don't support them. Don't do any of this. I don't usually like canceling people, but I do like canceling people who abuse their pets and backstab their friends and uh, pedophiles. Yeah, yeah. That stuff DeVos was watching was a borderline pedophilic. And that is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So any of these people who do any of these things... Just, this is why I think bread tubers are terrible a lot of the time. Because the things they promote lead to bad things. And Vosh and Ethan Online is a clear example of that. And a clear example of everything that anybody should not want to be. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about how Vosh is doing some disgusting, ranched things. Like his fellow other bread tubers. And how... Really, them getting exposed has clearly showed that the things you do in life matter, the things you believe matter, and you don't want you want to believe things that get you to where you want to be, not like these people.